any bonds today is pretty good fun. This is a really interesting short for two reasons. Well, one, it's interesting to me because it's a Warner Brothers take on war propaganda. I've seen a lot of animations for World War II propaganda, and most of the ones I've seen are Disney. I've seen a couple of Warner Brothers, but I don't believe I've seen one with Bugs Bunny. So this, for me, was definitely an interesting look at the character and the way in which Warner Brothers were utilising their main characters, their main money earners, within the war efforts. The other reason that it's interesting is that the song is written by Irving Berlin and sung by Bugs Bunny. And honestly, it's just, it's so direct and so cheesy. And watching it today, it's hard to believe that this kind of thing was released. But at the time, it might have actually been pretty powerful. And I'd love to know if you know anybody in your ancestry who watched this and bought war bonds. Now, why you would know that, I don't know, but maybe you do. But basically, this was released in 1942, um, released by Warner Brothers and Bugs Bunny, along with Porky Pig, Porky Pig and Elmer Fudd, sing this song called Any Bonds Today, which was, as I said, written by Irving Berlin. And they're on a stage, they're performing, and, you know, I like the setup. I think that the visual aspect of this works really well. The fact that they are breaking the fourth wall, singing to an invisible audience, if you like. And they're singing. It lasts about a minute and a half, two minutes. It's not very long. And they're all singing this song to an audience, telling them to go and buy bonds. And that's basically it. Literally nothing else happens. It is blatant propaganda. And I do think it's cheesy. And I think it's um, it's obviously oozing in you know, American spirit, buy these war bonds, do this for your country, which I feel like would have been a lot more powerful in America than it would have been in the UK. Yes, Britain had, um, you know, national pride, but I don't think we've ever had it as strong as American, America, Americans, Americans. And I can, that's why I can kind of see this thing working. Buy your bonds for Uncle Sam. It kind of works. And when a cartoon character is telling you to do it, it feels less invasive than if some random person on the TV was telling you because it it feels less forced, I guess. The actual quality of the animation is quite cute. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the quality of the animation. It's it's well edited, it's it's well drawn. The music itself, actually I think the song could have been better. And who am I to say that an Irving Berlin song was not very good? It's not bad. I just don't think it was very catchy. I think it needs to have been a song that people are going to go away whistling or humming. And I just don't feel like that would have been the case. Certainly not for me. So the song itself wasn't actually very catchy or addictive. And since this is basically a glorified advert, um, I don't know. It's worth pointing out that the song is actually based on a Ginger Rogers song. Um... But uh, obviously the lyrics were changed slightly. If they were going to use a pre-existing song by Berlin, I feel like there are better ones they could have chosen. But, you know, watching it, I didn't, I wasn't disappointed by that. I wasn't expecting an incredible song. But for it to have been more effective, I'm just surprised that they didn't choose something a bit catchier that would stay in the mind. Have you whistling all the way home? I don't know. But it's cute to watch now. It's fun to watch now and look back on. At the time... Would it have been interesting, inspiring? It's just a propaganda advert, but it's Bugs Bunny. It's not my favourite bit of propaganda cartoon. Um, that was terribly um, poor grammar. But I enjoyed it. It's cute. If you like Warner Brothers, you're a fan of Looney Tunes, definitely check it out. But I've certainly seen a lot more effective propaganda from the time.